chirp, 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 chirp. Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook. Woohoo! We're back. A uh, little technical difficulties. So those of you who found us in this new room, we appreciate it very much. Sometimes we get so conveniently dependent upon the internet when suddenly it's gone. You're going, hmm, I thought we had internet. But we do now, so hopefully this will continue. We're going to be continuing also with our painting from uh, that we were going to do last Friday. Some of you joined us for our marathon, which was an eight um, hour uh, 13 painting marathon that we did Friday as part of our art auction. And uh, if you haven't seen that, I'm telling you what, there's some there were some fabulous pi pictures that were done, lots of fun conversation and so forth. And I didn't get the last parakeets done. So we're going to be doing those today and they'll be part of our auction. But I'm also going to be doing another painting that someone will win today. I'm just going to fool around, have some fun with this. Um, we're all going to have some fun. I think you're going to be amazed at um, what we're able to do. Uh, I think when you see this, uh, next time you see uh, our rocket man, John, who is my significant other and also the gentleman who's responsible for all the computers and the filming and the cameras. And how many cameras do we have in here, John? Uh, currently we're running six. We're running six cameras to bring you this broadcast so we can... He can, we even have ones that, for instance, someone last week said, gosh, I don't like the side camera. Do you know why we use the side camera? Because if there's a certain angle, if my hand's in the way you can't see what I'm painting, John then gets down on the side so that you can see exactly how much paint I have on the brush. It's really tricky. Guess what, friends? There is no broadcast without John. For those of you who prefer just my voice and uh, my tutorials, uh, that's, that's not what we do on the live shows. We have over 500 videos at our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting, which um, is just me and my hands and my paints and, and step by step. There's, but the fun part of Monday's acrylic painting shows are the broadcasts, is the banter between the audience and myself and John. We have a good time. We want you to have a good time too. Thank you for your patience for joining us. And let me just show you our paracot keats oh. and um, and um, as John was just going to switch cameras. I did. I scooted on down. He scooted on down. Now, you, at this point, you're probably seeing John, uh, our rocket man, who is in his new command central uh, Imperator. It yeah. says it right on the front. Can you read it on the front? Yeah. Imperator Works Chair. What? Gaming <laughs> Chair. It's called Imperator Works. <laughs> And it's fabulous. It's got the three screens. He, we had always had the three screens, but they were scattered over a big long desk. And John, before, would scoot, 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 scoot to get to the different screens. Everything is consolidated. And he's got. Um, he can handle all the cameras, all the zooms, everything. Well, we're going to attempt that. <laughs> well, we're going to see how it works. But anyway, he's having fun. We're going to have fun. As you can see, these are paracots here. Paracots. These are big up blow up of that. Of course, I'm just going to do a little small six by eight of these, and. Um, I'm using, correct, currently I'm using the Salvador uh, paints, and um, uh, in their newest kit, they came out with a brand new white, which is this one over here on my palette. Where? That's right here. Oh, this wait, one. I got to adjust the palette. The camera moved on me. I don't even see the white. Hold on a second. I mean, you can keep talking. Well, I, there's, I the, that. There's, the, there's that, and then I'm using the golden titanium white. And um, which is neat, and there's a little bit of pink in it because the cap cut dirty. Maybe I grabbed the wrong cap, which bad me. And then, of course, I just put out all the Salvador colors. I don't know what colors I'm going to be. Well, I do know, but I just I never know, so I have them all out. Okay, so um, and then someone will be winning. We can't see your white anymore. Is it too low? Yeah, it is. What happened? Did we? I didn't move the camera that much over there. Well, you must is have. Is that palette That's, not moved? No, we have not moved the palette. This right. is the ac acrylic uh, paint set, 24 professional paint set. That um, this is their newest one, which is the with the larger tubes, right? And you see my face right there on the box, right? And um, that's their newest one. So these tubes are quite small, and the newest ones. But the set that uh, Salvador will be sending out to someone today is. Um, um, I don't think it got moved. No, it didn't. It's just still tankered down. And so, um, anyway, I wanted to show you the difference uh, between the, 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 all the tubes are then this size in this box. And uh, I think that they, they were currently on Amazon. John's going to make a couple adjustments on yep. the camera. Yeah. They're currently on Amazon. 
And they're under 20 bucks. And I think, does our coupon code work on those two? Yes, and our coupon code, which is in the description below, works on these two. That's a deal, you guys. I mean, acrylic paints. And people yeah, this say, with all the brushes and everything. Yeah, well, not this. This set doesn't oh, have the, the other one. Oh, I yeah. didn't They may have run out of those already. Oh, they may have run out. They're trying to get, get them in. Back. They're trying to get them back in for the big two. So those of you who are replacing your sets, um, I would recommend, you know, uh, get, getting those. But also, we'll, Salvador Paints is giving away that. We also have the brush, and um, which we never got out, did we? The, um, the Oh, and I was just out. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We, we didn't get out the... We'll, we'll tell you about that. There's another surprise. I'll be out again. Just remind me. Yeah, next time John's out, we'll show you that. And someone will win on a painting I'm doing tonight. Not the parakeets that are going in the auction, but I'm going to do something else that will be just as fun. And someone will win that. And I'm going to show you what some of the auction pieces are. And by the way, our auction ends Wednesday. We've got some lovely bids, but there's still some paintings there for under um, 50 bucks right now. So, you know, still your chance to own an original ginger cook, which comes with a certificate of authenticity something like this signed by me with official seal and uh this and um these go with the paintings and um you know when i'm gone and croaked um you whoa, can whoa it, whoa whoa well some remember roy rogers and he had a horse named trigger you guys remember oh, that yeah. Yeah. and he he stuffed him you did indeed. He, was, he, he stuffed him. All right. So let's. Now, if you have, wait, wait, one more thing. If you have not, if you want to participate in the auction, you do have to um, sign up, and I have to clear you. And I see somebody just did that. That's what reminded me of it. And I will clear them as I see them. So just be aware of that. It's not. It's, mm -hmm. You can't just go there and start doing things. You've got to sign up and be a part of it. Now, when you're painting something like this, do you see that the you see all the little lines that are in the birds? Did you guys yeah. see that? Yeah, I do. That's a lot of fussiness. A lot of what? Fussiness. Puffiness? Fussy. It's Puffy? fussy. It's it's a pain. You know, all these little details can, you know, someone might look at that and go, ah, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to show you a trick to make that so much easier. Yes? Okay. I'm going to show right. you how to make that. Simplify that. Yes and yes. Now, I chose a green background because I wanted to put my birds in the jungle or something, you know. So I chose a light green background, just, um, you know, probably phthalo blue. Someone says, well, how would you make that background? Well, these, these backgrounds are all done by John using the leftover paint after a show or after we do a painting tutorial, okay? So That's you guys, what she puts out so much so I get the point. You know, I put a lot out, so even though it doesn't seem like that much to me. So anyway... Um, I usually get by the before paint. John. I used to throw all the paint away, but John is such a conservative person. <laughs> so anyway, I'm I'm lucky because I have these are real canvas pads. By the way, these are the Paramount Want canvas pads. Um, they're they're real canvas. Um, they've been pre gessoed They they're and you can show that. You say, this, they, that's the other giveaway, except it's linen. It, it, if it's the one. linen, we're giving away the fancy linen with one of these. Um, Ruby satin silver brushes. One of the three eighths. The three eighths ones, so which is great, you guys. Those are the brush, my go-to brushes. Yeah. Mm. So, that being said, and I want to thank whoever said to try the Zima for um, for not if, you know to get better night's sleep. We got some the next day. I had four hours of the deep sleep. <laughs> wow, huh? What she a was, difference. She wasn't even getting an hour. I'm telling you what, I'm, I was coming up, I spent all day yesterday with John helping him move furniture around in the studio She's never and moving doing that. easels. Never do that. So, you know, just always look at it and go, so oh, good that. luck, Thank right? Thank you very much. I have a new partner now who's helping me move things around. A partner in crime. Yeah, so I mean, it was it it was a life changer for me. Thank you very much. Life changer. And we recommended it for you. You guys don't have the giveaway link yet. We need uh, 300 thumbs ups, and I've got to still create the, the link for it. So. Yeah. So um, other than that, it's 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 in, it's, in, it's in the works. It's in the works. So you would think that so you, you know you've got the overall the 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 um, the the like for instance overall these parrot heads are light right they're kind of a light yellow so you you'd probably paint that first yeah but we're we're not going to do that we're going to take a little <laughs> of this permanent blue violet and a little of the Salvador white okay and we're going to come up here like that and we're going to paint the top of these little heads purple and I'll just leave a space where kind of where I know that eye goes and where the beak goes now is John zooming in on this with his fancy cameras and stuff is he doing a zoom am I doing my zoom uh-huh what do you do I have a new director now no I'm just asking I'm yeah. just curious of course I, am. I can't see what he, I can't see what he's view. doing 
he you went, know, I, I, I put that out there one time, and it confused you so much because it's so delayed. Yeah, so I don't You see looked it. at it, you go, what's that? I go, well, that's what you did five minutes ago. Yeah, so well, I don't want to see what I did five minutes ago. What am I doing now? Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to uh, put, uh, this is a water sprayer, and I'm going to put a little bit of water right there in the center, just a few drops of water, so I can just add a little bit of that to my brush, okay? Because we had these paints out there. And let's do, let's be the last of the big spenders and do the, you know, did you ever say that, last of the big spenders? A little bit more. Here's a little bit of that. Oh, that's a pink one. That's pretty. Let's add a little blue to that. Maybe Let's do this one a little bit said. different color. This one was purple. We'll just do this. Oh, I like that. That's sort of a purple-blue color, isn't it, when we do that? Just because you have all the colors doesn't mean you can't mix, you know. So, um, anyway, thank you very much for that Zima. Uh, Z-E-M-A. Zima recommendation. The recommendation, because it... it I don't know what it would do for anybody else, but it certainly was effective for moi. Yeah? So now I know that I've got, on this bird here, I've got, let's get a little bit more of this violet now. On this bird right here, I've got a, sort of some darker stuff coming down here on the wing. Like that. On this side of the wing. And I want to give a shout out. Um, you know, we do personal art coaching. You know, just this unbelievable. If you guys are not taking advantage of this, it's so crazy because at some point we're going to be full and we won't be able to take anybody anymore. It did happen it's before. It's happened before. We just had to shut it down, right? And just only take current members. Um, you could always be an academy member, but you couldn't get the coaching because there's just so many hours in a day I can help you. But, you know, um, we don't skimp on this. I mean, if you've done a great job, sometimes we give you a choice. You know, sometimes we'll put your artwork up on Pinterest. We have a special student Pinterest board. Uh, sometimes I'll give you a shout out in our Facebook club. And sometimes you just, you know, you just don't want us to do anything. It's just, just teach, you know, tell me what, and it's just between you and me, kind of you and me. And sometimes, did you know we even have a button on there, like a button, but not a button, but certainly a box you can check in our ticket system where you send in your uh, photos of your artwork where I can help you. And you just say, um, I just wanted you to see it. I don't want any comments. I just need a hug. And I can give you a visual hug of how well you're doing. You don't, You can send it in to me, and, and that's great. It's, it's easy for me. It's easy for you. If you just want me to see your progress, and you want to keep, and just uh, and have me just say something like, gosh, let's have fun painting today, and I love you, or whatever. We can do that. Ah, just, you know. It's kind of nice, just that you get because you know art coaches aren't just your teachers. We're ch your cheerleaders too. I'm your cheerleader. You got to think of me as your cheerleader. Yes and yes. That's what you do every time you give me a new task. Yeah, I'm, yeah, that's right. I do right. <laughs> I'm your cheerleader. So think about think about that a little bit when you're. Um, let's see. Let's bring this down here a little bit like this. Okay. It's a while since I did these. I'm going to bring this down and uh, come on down here like this. There we go. So this is I'll put a little of this dark up here like that. A little bit of dark here. All right, so that's going to simplify some of this, I feel. Right? I feel like this will simplify some of this. Now, I started to say I was going to want to give it just a want to say hi to Stephanie Bernstein. She's got a parrot key like this. She sent me a picture. And I was going to, Stephanie has words of wisdom about these birds. And if you want to make a comment about something we should know about these birds, Stephanie, feel free. And also, by the way, Stephanie, you did a killer painting the other day. We we've had a painting in our. I'm gonna to gotta to stop and show you this this guys. We've oh, had. Wait, a, wait, whoa. So you're supposed to be the director. It's supposed to say, okay, cameraman, get queued up. Camera, get queued up. I'm gonna show something larger, right? Okay, go. All right. So this particular painting um, is one of our tutorials in the academy, and so many of our members have done it and done it successfully. And I, I don't have Stephanie's to show you because she's still working on a couple things that I said I suggested. But I got to say, Stephanie, I thought what you did was terrific, and it had a mood. This this particular tutorial resonates with people, and everyone's done a marvelous job on this. And no two are the same, but they're all awesome. And uh, Stephanie's yours was particularly awesome. I just wanted to tell you that. So 
There you go, right? Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you very much. I, I have to admit, I've seen a lot of those come in, and they are absolutely fantastic paintings on them. Some of those are really, well, I would dare say, museum quality. They are really that good. Yeah, and you know what's interesting to me is how, how, um, how people resonated with this. Um, this is a little blue here. We're changing colors now on you. How, it just how, kind of struck a chord. Yeah, it just struck a chord. People really liked it. We're going to do a little bit of white in this brilliant blue. Put that right there. Bring a, bring a Do you have to register on podium for auction? No. You just have to register on the website, gingercookauction.com. Yeah, gingercookauction.com, and that's the, let's put a little of this blue that right is the here. official. She's moved it again. I just, I just, I just, I wanted to move this around oh, here. Hey, you know, I've yeah. got the capability of moving. I can keep up with you. Good. The so there's part. a, as you can it's see. It's when you go from one end to the other. Now, I want, let's, let's take a little bit of that, and let's take some of that permanent green deep in this light blue and a little bit of white. And then we get more of a turquoise blue color. Isn't that pretty? Just need a little bit of that green in there. And um, I want to do that. Just going to, you got to lay in some colors here, you guys. Yes and yes. Absolutely. Gonna lay in some stuff. Just uh, yeah, this was a I'm telling you what this was. Um, this has been a fun week. We had a good time with the auction. Okay, really brilliant time with the auction, and um, really appreciated a lot of people hung in there the whole time. Yeah, yeah, and we had and we we stayed you know kind of painted till we dropped here almost, but we 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 hung in there and you hung in there with us, and we thank you very much for that. And uh, let's just lighten this up here. Just take a little of this white here and uh, lighten this side up a little bit here as it goes back to these feathers. Let's lighten this up here like that. Remember, if you paint the birds all one color, then you have a flat cardboard thing. You know what I mean? You've got to still have lights. It's like a ball or anything else. You still have to have a light and a dark side, yeah? And you've got to have some, sh you know, shadows where the lights, you know, some indication of where the light's coming from. Here's that primary cyan. That's a good color for this. Some blue right here. That's a primary cyan. So, uh, you know, don't, you know, you're layering this as best you can, yeah? So we're going to still encourage that on here like that. And uh, let's see, what was I putting over up in here? I think that purple, let's do a little of this purple. It's going to go all the way up this way. Make that a little darker. Okay. Let's do this. All right, so you can see where we're kind of filling all this in. And um, let's take a little of this purple color now. And just don't outline, but just kind of do a bit like that. I want to make sure we're, we've got this nice sweeping thing here. Now that's a good, that's a good place for these. All right, so um, any questions, John? Uh, I don't think so. Aha! No questions. My gosh, okay. Well, all right. I don't think That's so. That's fine. Let's get a little bigger brush now. I'll and um, let's, let's see if we can't get some of these greens in here. A little of this white. Notice I'm not rinsing the brush in between. Taurus says, I love every pack. I feel like Ginger is my best friend giving me her knowledge and encouragement. Thank you, Tara. I really enjoy, I enjoy seeing your artwork. There's a few of you who are pretty consistent in sending in artwork. 
And sometimes you just, but sometimes, you know, a lot of times I like to think my videos are, are so perfect that you'd get it the first time around or you'd see something. But, you know, sometimes it just doesn't hurt to just say, what did you think? You know, I go, awesome. Yes. And, you know, there you're at different stages. And, you know, um, every nobody starts um, out as a professional artist. You, you start off learning words and so forth. And so you've got to give yourself a break here, too, um, as far as uh, um, what you expect of yourself. Have fun with this. Um, art, you know, one thing that art will do for you is that we may not be able to go on vacation, but when you start painting, and this is that you're, you're in a zone where um, nothing, there's nothing, there's just the paint in you. Really, just there's no bills, there's no COVID, there's nothing. It's just you and the paint, and what a blessing because a lot of people don't have that. They they're up they're up there every day in the face with the with all of it. They don't have an escape, and this is a great you know it's painting is a great escape. The better doesn't matter whether you did it great or not. Just you know, have fun with it. Uh, try try not to be your own worst critic. Yes, you're gonna see things. Um, that, you know, one thing you're doing is you're training your brain and you're going to be seeing things. Yeah? Okay. So that's, I'm going to let that just sit there for a minute. Okay? While that dries. And I want to show you something. Do all I right? need to back out, boss? Uh, I don't think you have to show it back out at all, John. I think I can just show them light like this. We had such an amazing auction. You know, the one thing I didn't put out was any frames. Do you have any little, well, it's all right. I want you to see some of the paint artwork that we did in our that we have in our auction, but a frame wouldn't hurt. You want me to go get your frame? Yeah, give me a couple of frames. Oh, of course. Even the I'm just sitting How about the one nothing. with the? There's the one with the turtle over there that's got the the turtle's already in it, or somebody, the frog, the turtle. I put everything in it. back. I'm sorry. Oh, he put stuff back. All right, this was the wheat field, and it wasn't that. This is one of the. This is one of the. We did this on Fridays. So if you want to know how to paint this. That's uh, that was on our Friday, uh, you know, marathon. But that's 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 I think that's a charming painting, and it goes very nicely. This is one of the la later ones we did. In case you didn't hang in with us at the end, this sort of the sunset over the snow, um, I think came out really nicely too, and um, these were all. Um, oh, he's he really did put them away. He had to actually leave the room, you guys. He had to go into the closet. He had to go into the closet. Oh my gosh! They actually ended up in a closet. All right, let me just. Want it. I think uh, the. We took our table away. We took our table away. Well, just John will put our table back. All right. So look, see how cool is that? Um, but I really like this one and this one here too. That's kind of neat. And you know, depends on people always say, "What kind of frame should I get? How should I frame a picture?" One that's on sale. Uh, well, yeah, sale, but sale's good, but. Um, Yes, sales are always good, right? But the other thing is, here's a, one of our gardens that we did, and I lo really love that in this frame. You know, and that and that's again, that's in the auction. That the one frame, this 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 darker gold right here, is very nice. I got to show you this darker gold frame because they're all slightly different. Um, that one's a little different, similar, but it's a slightly different. I think I would just do the silver here. Um, I like the silver one. It's sort of a it's not real silver, silver. It's almost like got a little bit of a yellow in it. It's really pretty. Um, these are really neat. I'm just going to probably keep this one out because it's a good way to show you. Here's one from the auction. Um, again, beautiful in that frame. Another one. Now, uh, let's see. Let's try to do all the horizontals. Now, we did, uh, if, if you like birds, this is another one that we did on the auction that might be cute with our new birds. You know, if you have a comp bird companion piece. And, of course, if you're into sunsets, why? How, how about this one with the, um, with the beach scene and the dock and the guys fishing? You know, you can paint a vacation even if we can't go anywhere yet. And then probably one of the, the all-time favorites of mine is this one. with the with, And that really needs to, this one here really needs to go in the gold one. The gold frame right here, like that. Look at that. This uh, 
the rocks and the, the tide and the ocean and everything. I think that's really cool. And um, all right, so that's enough of that. We'll, we'll show you more later. I have a that's couple questions came running by. Um, when you paint larger, how much larger does your brush go? Well, so you, you, what you're doing right now is a six by eight. Let's say we're going to go to an 18 by 24. I'd probably be using one of these. You kick it up to what, I a kick, I kick it up to a bigger brush, and I've, I've got brushes that go up this big, you guys. I mean, I just you know, that's still probably the small angles for the details, but you know, big brushes, and probably one of my most go-to brushes for you know, this is a good. Ooh, ooh just drop that in the water. Why did we do that? To give me something else to wash. Oh, uh, this one is a good size for me too. This is a bright brush when I'm painting larger paintings, um, and uh, this one was a brush I use a lot for larger paintings. And you can't go by the numbers. I guess I could go by the, you know, like that. You have that. to go by the inches. you got to go by the inches. You can't go by the numbers because every brush company has different numbers for things. So, yeah, bigger brushes, you know, for sure. Bigger brushes, for sure. You just kind of scale it up. Yeah. But it's even true. on the biggest one, she still grabs that quarter-inch angle. Yeah. And I'm going to say, like, for instance, like this one, I want that beak to be white, so I'm going to... Well, it's going to be light orange, but I'm going to paint it white first, right? I'll put that. I'll put these beaks in, even though they're in colors. Well, has Stephanie given us any wisdom on the parakeets yet? She told us anything we should know about parakeets. Oh, I don't know. Was I supposed to be watching for that? Yeah, she was going to tell us something interesting about parakeets. So I put it. I put the spotlight on her. And said she had to do that. <laughs> I don't know if she's doing it or not. Okay, so we can. All right, so that's kind of fun, and then we're going to take a. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a... The last time I got a 24-piece kit, the coupon did not work. Hmm. I'll check into it. It may have expired by now. I mean, that was supposed it was just to be for last year's just coupon. It was supposed, supposed, supposed to be just for November. Yeah, it was supposed <coughs> to die back in November, but they kept it going. They kept it going. I mean, you know, their, their pain Still, is for so 20, reasonable. For under $20, you're getting a heck of a deal. Absolutely. Try not to run the the, the, the branches off the can, um, off the picture. Kind of curve them back around. That's one of the secrets. You're gonna do something like that. <coughs> curve these back around a little bit. Francis would like to know what is the status of the designing class. It's still in the designing phase. We have a lot of it shot. We just haven't. We right got, now, we've got to get the websites merged, and then we're going to be back on that in full blast on the same website. So it's all going to be together. We've got things laid out, ready to go. It's just we've got to get, got to get our ducks lined back up. Yeah, we got, you know, things. Our ducks things, were stuff, quacking in different directions. Yeah, you know, just. Um, all right, so I've got this. I've got this. I just sent out a little questionnaire for those that were still interested in it to let me know. And everybody basically said yes. All right, so all right, so you got, we got that. This is what we've done so far with oh, that. What is John sitting on? John They're classified as a gaming chair, but to me, it's an editing chair. Yeah, this is a, th this fabulous. It it uh, does zero gravity. He can take that chair, that Im imperator works chair. Imperator, imperator, and Imp imperator. Imp What's the, what's the emperor? What's the emperor? Emperor chair. Emperor chair. <laughs> uh, he it, it will it will recline all the way back so it's zero gravity and, and those those screens go with him. It, the 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 top of it opens and and comes down. Um, it's got a complete control channel there. It's got two separate footrests depending on where he's doing it. He can adjust the level of all that stuff. It. Um, uh, everything's consolidated right there. How, John's running how many cameras? You said six cameras from that workstation. Yeah. And uh, we, when we saw this, uh, actually my daughter Cinnamon Cooney, the art sherpa, showed this to me last Christmas, and that was John's kind of Christmas. Um, really, I said, you have to have that. We have to get this chair. Of course, he had to approve it. He said, you have to get this chair because he had to approve it because he has to sit in it, right? I said, you have to get this chair because John will come up after dinner and he will be up here in the studio working till sometimes three in the morning every night. And I said, you spend enough time in there where you need the 
something, right? You absolutely need something. And we felt that was what he needed. Yeah? Yeah. So, yeah and yes. Yes and yes? Yes and yes. Yes and yes. Okay, so um, I want to say, I'm just going to show you kind of what I intend to do. I want to take some of this titanium white and a little bit of Jonathan, this. Jonathan, we have a studio tour once we're done. Na 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 <laughs> Naples, yeah. What you see on well, camera is beautiful. Well, a lot of what we have, too, is proprietary. We don't show you how we film things, how John set this up, how he invented it. We're not showing people stuff like that, so we can't really we, we'll get you all that to it. Out. We don't. We just you can't see that, but we can. You know, when it finally gets picked up, we can show you some of it. It's pretty neat. Yeah, we figured we could show you this. And um, all right, so now I want to, I want to turn this upside down, and I'm going to turn my reference upside down. Yes and yes. And so what I what I think I want to do is I want to have, I'm going to put the light color here like this. And I'm going to tap the white in there. Just using the toe of the brush. Just the toe of the brush, yeah, it's like that. And sort of dotting it. Kind of keeping the curve going. Can you tell me the pros and cons of spray varnish or paint-on varnish? Uh, well, John and I use the uh, paint-on varnish all the time. and uh, But sometimes, if you've got something with a lot of texture, what happens is we use the Liquitex uh, gloss medium and varnish, okay? But what happens is if it puddles, it can dry not clear. So if you have a really textured piece, the, our favorite spray-on varnish is the golden acrylic varnish. That is our, our favorite uh, varnish. And, um, How many screens do I have in front of me? Well, I have three screens plus an iPad. So I guess there's four screens, theoretically. Um, the coupon code for the birthday tutorial doesn't work. Well, if you look at the website, it tells you exactly what it is. And what you've typed in there is incorrect. Go back to the website. Yeah, we're, I'm sorry. We, I'm we, not going to tell you. You have to work a little bit, people. Come on. Yeah, I it's mean, a freebie. It, it's a $45 yeah. value for free. So we feel like, you know, John spends a lot of time asking questions about it, but most people have figured right it out. And you know better, Oki. Come on. Go read it. Right on the homepage. Can't miss it. Sometimes I have five screens if I have two iPads running. See, one iPad moves the cameras around. Oh, it's quite clever. Is there a traceable for the dog and the iris from the auction? Yes. If you remember, there's 13 lessons that have to be done. I have my staff working on it. Won't be up and when I told him what it was this morning, he wasn't real happy. I said, come on, it's only 13. You have one more to do tonight. They'll be up next couple days. He says he might get it done tonight. I'd be surprised. But... We'll see. We'll see, right? They will be on the beginner acrylic auction. Beginner acrylic. What is it? Artist.com. Artist.com. For Artist. basic supporters and up. Basic supporters and up. Okay, so that's kind of the. You see, we've got the detail work and the, in the birds like on that. their heads a little bit easier that way. For me, that's just you know, for me that was just a little bit easier to do. And. Uh, well, if it's more comfortable on the hand, lines up better. It makes sense. Yeah, if you were left-handed, it might be different. Right. Um, that's the that's the trick here. If you were left-handed, uh, then it probably wouldn't um, wouldn't, it be good. wouldn't be as good, right? But um, you know, since we're not left-handed, it works pretty good. Yeah. So um, still with the light the light color here. We're just um, pulling in these little feathers here like that. And it's just sort of impressionistic painting. We're not trying to do, you know, we already have a photograph of the bird, so what can we do that makes it a little bit more interesting? So what we want to give the impression, certainly give the impression of this bird. It's much easier than try to go around and do it that way than try to go around and um, 
um, do the, um, the dark outline, right? For at least it is for me. I don't know. You know, so we got, and then we've got this, this, t this one is coming this way. The tail's coming down like this. And, uh, they were impressed that you knew the link to the website. That's a little task. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing what happens when you have more sleep. It's amazing what you know. Yeah, a totally different person now. Yeah, it's just, just amazing what you know. It's like um, Atlas Shrugged. Okay, so um, so that's fun. These are I had a, a, a bird. I had these two little when I was uh, uh, cinnamon was a bit, kid, and we were living in a baby uh, toddler. I got these little parakeets to put in her room, and they were named Chitty and Chitty. Come Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, because that was her favorite movie. You know, you got it. <laughs> That's Charlie's favorite. And they movie. went. Thr -th they did a lot of chitting and chatting. There was a lot of noise, and they'd go thr -th thr -th thr -th up and down their cage all day long. Thr -th thr -th thr -th th and I had this little tiny um, a bamboo uh, like pagoda that was like seven stories that so they could go up and down in it. You know, had you know great fun. And so we had that. And then when we moved to California, I probably have told this story, but I'll tell it again for those of you who haven't heard it. We moved to California. Uh, you know, the weather was just gorgeous, unlike, um, you know, so I thought it would be nice to hang the cage outside. Mm -hmm. You know, it seemed like a good idea at the time, right? Uh-huh. And how'd that work out for you? And um, we came out after if we'd gone to the beach or something we came back to you know bring the birds inside because it's getting starting to get colder because it gets colder at night and um and all that was left was um the bodies they were headless and apparently a road runner had gotten in the cage you know <laughs> that long beak and i didn't enjoy the noise and it just um <laughs> decapitated them <laughs> just so just, just. And, uh, how did Cinnamon appreciate that? Uh, she was a little horrified. You I know? Would think so. She was like six and didn't find that, you know. But again, you know, I just we just had no idea. I mean, just people do the stupidest things. That was one of the dumb things we did. Had no idea that that would happen. That those roadrunners. I mean, we'd seen them. You see them in the cartoons, and they don't do anything like that in the cartoons. You no. may have noticed that that there there is none of that in the cartoons. Yeah. Have you noticed that there's none of this bad behavior like that in the cartoons? Cheryl, I'm not sure what you're asking. Did you say that your main, your maining your site, your website combined again? We're combining three sites into one. But it takes a while. The Zima is in the uh, in our Amazon store under the health items. Just go to the health items, you'll find it. The stuff that we've been using. Yeah, that was recommended for last Friday. Yeah, John put it up in the store so you'd see it, you know. And again, it worked for me. It may not work for you, but um, it worked for me. So that's all I can, you know, that's all I can say. I always slept pretty good, but I find it just, I'm totally zoned out, man, just... Good John's stuff. taking well, it you too. Got zinc and I do what? Well, you're taking it too, and, and yeah. he likes it. Yeah. So um, it works. Uh, but I already had. I, it gives me probably an extra hour. I was already getting three, so I get you know three and four now. You're getting more totally deep. Are you get you're getting more deep sleep too, right? Just a little bit. That's where I max out. Well, when you talk about deep sleep, this is my Apple Watch. Oh wait, that's King. Oh, we got the right phone. Okay. This is my Apple Watch, and there's a. And that's candy. They have a screen. thing on it. It talks about how much sleep. You get little rings, but then there's a better app you can buy that says, you know, Apple Watch says yes, you slept, tells you how long, but it doesn't tell you about this deep sleep stuff, and these other. Um, other uh, sites do. We're we're going into lighter blues now, in case anybody wondered what we're doing here. We're doing lighter blues up here now. You just kind of see how we're layering this thing. So just don't get in the habit of painting us all one color because you don't want to do that. 
Because it's not always just one color. Um, and it, it takes some artist license a little bit. I like that word too. It takes some artist license. Did yeah. you know that the parakeets are actually Australian budgies? Well, I'd heard the term budgie, but I didn't know why well, they were called they that. So you see, we're learning things, right? We're a full educational story. Okay. When we shared Ginger Channel with our family and friends, she could reach 100,000. Well, bless you. We would love to see 100,000 this yeah. year. And I, I would think it would be so funny that... Um, I would think some of the, you know, some of the guys might really enjoy John's chair. Is what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? Oh, I like my chair. You know, I'm thinking that they might really enjoy that. You can see we're sort of defining them as we go, right? And of course the, uh, the, the let's take a little bit of this Naples yellow. I like that color. It's nice and bright now. We'll just go right into the Naples yellow and um, brighten up some of this these some wings. Of the featherings. Little feathery guys. So I'll just keep playing with this a little bit as we go, right? Because again, it's about layering, you guys. I keep saying, we, we keep saying that to you, and you must be sick of us saying it, but it's so true. And then like the top of this little guy's head, let's take some titanium white. It's nice and light up here. So let's just give him the top of his head, make that lighter. You know, let's make a point of that in this same thing here. Let's take a little bit of this. Naples yellow and kind of lighten up some of this so we can do that. All right, and we've got uh, a little bit of this light yellow color on some of this. So as we keep keep going. Now we want a little ultramarine blue. We want a little bit of blue right in here. It's a little Michelle's bit different. Michelle's husband's been working at home, from home since March. He would love to have this chair. Yes, he would. Well, I'm telling you what, if you're sitting in a chair for a long time... You even have some massage function. It, it just, I mean, the, the... I mean, it's not... It, yeah, absolutely. If you're, if you're sitting up, you know, if you're sitting in that chair for a while... It makes a difference, for sure. We keep adding the colors. Maybe make it a little bit darker in here. If you guys can see how we keep keep adding them. Now this one definitely had a little bit of a. A little extra darkage. Mm -hmm. It's not that you can't come back and put it, but if you have to put all of it, it becomes a lot. So you can always come back and, you know, add a few details here and there if you need to. But, um, you know, that's a, that's fine. You just, just to find a couple of them. And let's see, we want the eye to be dark. And it's got some light around it, but that's all right. So we've got... And don't worry if you lost something. You can put it back. That's what acrylic paint does. I want to put a little bit of white and a little bit of this violet here. Come right here and do this foot. It's coming under the branch like this and then curves back like a little hook. Here's this little... But right here. The chair is in our store as well. It's under office equipment. Yeah, we thought, figured if anybody wanted to get that chair, we'd 
we'd go ahead and if you're going to buy it, you know, might as well get it through our store. Robin, you have been approved. Kathy, go ahead and re-enter. There's a little purple up here at the top of this beak right there. Right up here, too, a little bit of purple. A little purple. And, um... But a turquoise blue and white. Maybe I can get something, something a little lighter here. Get something even lighter than what I've got here. It was Sabrina that told us about the Zima, Z-M-A. Uh, thank you, Sabrina. And she's glad that it worked for you. It did. When you deep sleep, do you dream less? I dream a lot and I want to stop it. I have no idea. I don't remember any dreams if I even have them. I'm just zoned out. I am gone. Out like a light, baby. I spend, uh, I have, the, I'm one of these people that for my entire life have, have found myself, my girlfriends all used to, you know, sleep in. All my friends from school, you know, high school and stuff, everybody was slept, slept in, slept in. And I never slept in. I was not a person that slept in at all. And part of the reason that I didn't sleep in, to be quite truthful with you, is that part of the reason I didn't sleep in was that, um, um, I, I was getting up anyway because I had to use the restroom, and once I was up, that was it. There was no sleeping in till 11 o'clock. just wasn't going to happen, okay? And that has not changed for me. So the problem is if you're the one of these people that, you know, gets up a lot in the night, sometimes getting back to sleep is more of a challenge, right? And so it's, um, so my dreams used to be um, finding restrooms. <laughs> just... Some sort of nightmare about you know restroom. Everybody's restroom was closed, and you had to get up. All right. So again, we're keep lightening up the few feathers here and there. And you'd think that something like this could be nice and quick, and it is. But again, what we're just talking about is just layering, which I'm liking how it's coming out though. So I hope you guys are too. This is the priorly red is the their bright orange. So here we go. I wonder why they call it red. No. Because it's really more orange than red. It's a very, very bright. It's almost like a cad red light is the color of that. Now we're going to put yellow. a little of that on the top of the branch here. Just because you can. Well, and also, you, it's again, it's one-dimensional. So, so we just did the first coat. So we need we need a little bit of that. And that's, and what, again, red, blue are complementary colors. So if we put a little bit of that, maybe with a little white in it. Now remember, this is the uh, last piece that's going up on the auction, which is on the auction now without a picture. I think. Should be. Because I believe people have been bidding on it. I, I never saw that. where you put this up at all. I may not have. i got to go turn it on if it is I don't, not on. I don't think you ever did, John. Nope, it's not. Well, let me go turn that on. I'm glad we had this conversation. Yeah, I don't know why you kept saying that, because I never thought that it was on. All right, so here's... Let's get some white. And this one is others. Uh, this yellow-green is such a pretty color. What's the official title of this? Two parakeets. That's original. I like it. That works for me then. Can I make it two blue parakeets? Yeah, two blue parakeets. It'd even be better. Well, you don't have to say that. But, you know, it certainly could be. All right, now it's up there. It says, now it's the one without a picture. The picture will be posted to it after the shoe later this evening. Yep, there it is. Opening bids, only $15. Gingercookauction.com Okay, so we got some... Oh, they're in a neat place now, aren't they? That looks fun, doesn't it? Now, let's see, we need our... They're looking good. Looking fine. We're not liking that, you know, just... just Now, the, from about 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock, it's 
It's got a white, well, about, about three. It doesn't go all the way around. There's a little dot in there. So 12 to 3. And this one. And if you were a child that was born on a digital clock and raised on a digital clock, you have no idea. No. Uh, I can remember um, in school just watching the clock to see when the school was over. Yeah. And um, you, you, you get a sense of how long five minutes is, right? They have those big electronic clocks, right? And uh, uh, you sh for sure knew when school was over because uh, you know because you could you could track the clock. Now this is a turquoise blue Posca pen. I want to play with that a little bit because that's just a different color. It's a little bit different than anything I've got here. And I just want to see what it does. Oh gosh, how nice is that? <laughs> Look at Sigmund that. Sigmund said just... we should talk to Ginger into doing a Disney painting. Is she up for that? Except for copyright um, I problems. I think there's some copyright problems <laughs> with that. You guys, it's not that I would be against we doing it. We would love it. to do Disney. I'd like to do a Winnie the Pooh. I mean... Um, My hero. Um, that's a neat color. That's the... Um, Watch your hand as you're running through there now, because that where you've been. Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> thanks. So that's a cool color. I like. Oh, this yeah. is where people say, "Where would you use a Posca pen?" This is where you might use it well, for sure. How do you decide where a light source is coming from? Uh, to make a black and white of it and see what lights up. If nothing does, it's not a good photo to use. No, I'm asking where's the light source? Like on these guys, where's the? Do you have the original photo? Throw that yeah, over there well, it's it's um. I don't know if I'm clear See, that's flat lit. It's very flat, so you have there's to. There's no light source. There's no light source on it. It's very very flat. My but, guess this, is, but this is lighter here than that, right? You can see where there's still some stuff. Some this shading, is and yeah, there's a little lighter here, and these are lighter here. So you gotta. That's a very flat lit. It's a very. It's, that's a portrait type environment they did that in. yeah it's a very yeah it's a very flat lit one and um let's see purple pink purple. jamie says winnie the pooh is their favorite too you can't beat winnie and um, patricia i grew up on winnie the pooh when my granddaughter was uh born honey the oldest one is 16 we did a whole room of peter rabbit and uh cinnamon i did it was really fun so I want a little bit of light here on that one. I'll just put a little highlight here on her foot. Okay. So it's just small stuff, you know what I mean? But you can, you, you can just little stuff. You, you, you know, you can get these. Uh, we, you know, when you buy a set of Posca pens, you get all these weird colors, and you're going, well, I don't know if I need all those colors. But then every once in a while, because they're real acrylic paints, so every once in a while you can, you can get that, and you can sit there and say, okay, um... That's cool. I can do that. And uh, let's see, what's that one? I think that one's red. Just bring a little red under there. Mother says your birds are looking great, and she can't have them in. I think she said Philadelphia. It's snowing. Boston. They're in Boston. So what is that? Why can't she have them? It's in. It's snowing right now. Oh. You know, snow. Birds don't like to release snow. No, they Unless don't. They're penguins. No, they they don't like it. No. Just catching up on all the conversations. All right, so I put a little highlight on the beaks there, and um, that was fun. But that's a little fat Posca pen. We did that. I mean, you know, what are you gonna do, right? So, um, see, so where's that brown one I had? I like that brown pen I had too. It was some sort of brown pen. It's just, uh, I'm not, before, you know, acrylics dry darker, but I do want to come back and highlight some of this lighter stuff. I want to do a little bit of a lighter thing here. Um, that's too big. Let's get, a, let's get a tiny brush. What do you guys think? 
let's do a little tiny brush like this and let's take this and let's kind of come up here like this curve it around his eye a little bit like that the canvas we're currently doing is a six by eight yeah So that is... I just bumped my volume up a little bit. You're saying I'm a little softer than this ginger. So I had see a problem how... with my white Posca pin drying up too quickly. If you don't click the cap, it has to actually click, it will dry out. Yeah, you have to. And I've, we've had some that have gone for like three years, the best ever. Yeah. So... Never had a problem with one drying out. I hate to tell you, darling, it's you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just, we, we, we can be more subtle. Could, could we? We could, but it's just not us. All right, so that's, all right, so there you, all right, so now they're getting a little personality, yes? What's, what we're looking for is a little personality in these birds. I think you're getting it. Yeah, this is. I'm kind of enjoying painting these. Um, you're still doing another one tonight, right? Doing another one tonight, but it's, you're it'll still go fairly quick. You're formulating in your head what you're doing. Yeah, absolutely. I've I actually got it. I know exactly what I'm doing here. Of course, yeah, I know. I thought so. Ginger knows all. You're going. How is that possible? Well, just it is. Just one of those things. Okay, so we got. We have something called a casual yellow medium. That's pretty. What could we do with that? Maybe do a little bit of that color. Oh, has a yellow medium. Just put something a little bit brighter on that branch. Maybe no. How about as a yellow lemon? That's pretty. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. That'd be pretty on the branch. <laughs> okay. All right. Now let's see what else could we do. Oh yeah. Let's take some of this ultramarine blue here and just come under. Where there's a light, there's a dark. So I just, I get, what I'm doing is I keep going back and looking for contrast, yes? Because that's the whole thing, is I'm, I'm just still looking for, for contrast on all of this. And, um... That's that's kind of where I'm going with our with our little bird and let's see, this primary cyan is a nice color too. I like that. Gonna fatten out our bird a little bit, and then do a little bit of this here. Don't want that big a line. Just pull this along. I think we're pretty close to being uh, uh, finished on this. Um, let me see. Are we? Let's see. Do I have this wide enough on the light enough on the top of his head? Let's let's see. Do we have this lighter here? There's a few little accents. The name of this painting is Two Blue Parakeets. You can find that on the auction site, gingercookauction.com. You can. I don't think anybody's bid on it yet. So, starting off at 15. Okay. Whoops, wait a minute. Nope. They bid on the trumpet flowers. That's a very unusual style of painting, that one, when you did that one. That was a different one. We just want to access the site. Daniel Daniel says that Ginger is very witty and funny tonight. And must have must have been the sleep. Yeah. Must have been right. Uh, must well, it, it's uh, I certainly wouldn't wouldn't uh, argue against that. Right. Must have been the sleep. Absolutely. I'm Does looking Ginger forward to it. I I just. D didn't realize I, I wasn't getting enough. That was the problem. I just didn't know that. Right? Until she got the Apple Watch, and Apple Watch said you're Apple not getting Apple enough. <laughs> said, oh, by the way, you're... Uh, then I look at mine, I have all, all green circles, and she has all red circles. Things aren't good. 
Hey, does Ginger cook? Uh, I do, but um, but John does all the cooking because he he enjoys it. Uh, that's his that's his sort of, you know. People say, "What's his hobby?" When he isn't, um, his cooking has become his new hobby. So the kitchen and everything is all designed. He's got all these fancy toys like um, Instapots. Why well, wouldn't have a clue even how to turn one on? Our Instapot is used every day. And he makes oh, he, tell him how you make our oatmeal because that's really good. I put it in my Instapot. Yeah, he makes it in the Instapot, but he makes it with what? We use the well, Irish oatmeal. Well, uses water. I use, I use my soy milk in mine. Yeah. And almond flavoring, and I fix mine up. You just like it plain. Yuck. Yeah, but don't you put cream in it or something? Oh, don't that's you? when it comes out, yeah. You make it with what? Cream, right? Yeah, heavy cream for you. All right, so I'm going to let that sit, but I'm thinking they're looking pretty cute, you guys. I'm thinking they're looking great. Do they have names? They ought to have names. I don't know. We should have some names. They should have names. So right now I've got, um, I wanted to just take a second while that's drawing. I'm going to do another set Whoa. of birds. But How'd I'm going to do, do these. We're going to do these as an abstract. <gasps> oh, I like, like the dog? No, not like the dog. We're oh, going to do like these the really. This is going to be an abstract. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to just, I want to preserve some of this. I'm going to use this. I'm going to have this. As so this a, is the one that's going to be given away. Yeah, this is the one that's going to be given away. Okay. And uh, we're going to, like I say, we're going to be doing this as an abstract. And um, Great start. Um, uh, uh, <laughs> you have to think while you're doing this, though, no, don't you? No, no I, I actually did, did a little bit of a pre-drawing on it at my abstract, right? Okay. So I don't really have to, but I want to just say that, you know, sometimes people think that it has to be one way or the other, and it just doesn't. But I want to, I want to do this as an abstract. And then I would like to say, this might be a dumb question. No dumb questions, in it. Well, there but are, but I'm sure Could you use isn't. a Posca pins on a dry oil painting? Um, no, because they're acrylic. You, you can use way. on a dry oil painting... You, you can use, though, a Sharpie oil painting pen. Sharpie makes an oil painting pen. And you can use those. And if you ever want to, want to have a sort of an interesting uh, experience, look up... Um, um, look up... Uh, 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 oh, look up Stafford. There's a company called Stafford which makes all the Sharpies, and it makes all these pens. And even even, um, even though our pens are made in Japan, they're still part of the Uni, Uni which is the part Uni of people. Stafford, right? And Stafford makes pens for I outer thought, space. Wait a minute. Are you sure on that? Because I thought Uni was part of Mitsubishi. Well, I don't know, but Stafford <laughs> makes pens for outer space. Okay. Right. And they make and and and, and um, these the Sharpie oil painting pens used to be called Uni pens. Oh, that's what you got. It from. Well, it could be then. Could be the same company. So I, I mean, I, you know, just hard to know, John. But I, I, I suspect that you're absolutely that right. In this day and age, people are buying people up left and right. We're gonna we're gonna still do this, right? Daniel would like to know what is the best thing I've cooked. What's the thing? What? Maybe the chicken wings, you're liking those. Oh, John's, okay, so when I was uh, uh, doing my COVID shopping, you know what COVID shopping is? No. That's when you can't leave the house, so you just go on oh. Amazon and look at any old stupid thing they have and wonder what it does, <laughs> right? That's, that's called COVID shopping, yes? <laughs> <laughs> just, that's, just, that's just, you know, I, you know uh. it'll, it'll end after COVID, you know, um, that, you know, they're... To, to, their sales will not be as high because everybody's just kind of now living on Amazon, right? And anyway, I found these um, in my quest for unusual and weird things. I found my um, um, so that's got to dry, okay? And you're going well. So it's still an abstract. You got to give me a chance here. It's got to it's got to dry though, okay? All right, so that's that's going over here. And I'm going to take a minute to show you um, 
some of our other auction pieces. We, so anyway, okay. John got these chicken wings. Okay, here, here we go. Back it up, baby. John got these uh, chicken wings. And this is, we're not done with this, but you want to see what this looks like framed now? Look at that. Oh, it looks good in silver, too. Yeah, it's nice and silver, right? We just I guess it's more of a pewter. Yeah, it's kind of a pewter. It's really it's not more pewter silver. Than silver. Yeah, pewter. And then pewter. Um, we showed all these, so let's move these uh, over here. And I um, want to do the horizontals first. Here's our, our silver horse, gray horse, apple gray horse. Now, we had a I lot like of, one besides the ones I did on the marathon, there's some other ones in the auction. You guys may not know that, but there are. Let's see. I want to make the... Here's our parrot, which is really fun. Like Isn't it kind one. of a close-up of the parrot? And uh, let's see. I want to make sure I don't have any more. And then this was one. This is a, one of my... This is my original turtle. It's got um, all this texture on it. That's from... Um, um, one of the first lessons we ever did. Probably 2015. Yeah, 2015, and I thought it might be fun. It's really, if you look at all the colors in it, it's got, can I tilt it up, can you see all the texture in it? Yeah. It's really kind of neat. Like it's underwater. And, uh, yeah, like it's underwater. And we had, um, uh, this was one that has done really well. The Desert Landscape, that was one for one of the tutorial in our academy. And that, that was really fun, and that's in the auction. And... This one is an academy uh, tutorial in uh, the fisherman's of uh, fisherman's Fisherman huts shanties. and fisher fisherman's camp, and that's and that has been well received by our visual audience. And this one is another one. This was actually a YouTube tutorial. This one, and I think that came out rather well. And then this one is our. Um, uh, this was a YouTube tutorial too, and it was uh, just you know the, I just I like stuff that kind of says what we are. You know what I mean? Let me just move some of these others out because they're piling up too much now. It's in the way. Okay, you got to move. Let me just show you this because that's kind of cool, isn't it? With the um, with the paintbrush, and then so I'm trying to find all the horizontals, and then again this was a a, a, a YouTube lesson on how to do trees. And uh, the rest are vertical. The rest are pretty sure. Or, no, there's one more. Someone had asked for a Matisse to be put in the auction. We put this this Matisse in. And that's, uh, that's again, in our, our acrylic, our Academy of Fine Art and Acrylic Painting. And, again, you guys remember this from this is one of our most uh, successful YouTube uh, tutorials. There's a small version of that. And the rest are vertical, so we'll show those in a little bit. Give everything a chance to dry here. All right, so moving all this out of the way. So those are fun. The, you know, the auction has been, there's been some really good, I think, really good uh, stuff in the auction that we can do. Okay, so here's our, here's our birds. I want to just see if there's anything else. Again, acrylics have a tendency to just, as we, we have, we've, enumerated so many times, have a tendency to just dry um, off, off. Dark. 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 So I want to come back and just just do a few more little touches on these. <laughs> and, uh, and Claire this. wants to know, John, do you have any single brothers? Just asking for a friend. <laughs> no, i got three sisters. Yeah, yeah. I've got three sisters. All right, so I want to just put a little of this light blue back here. So if I've got light blue back here, then what do I need next to it? Don't all shout out at once here. Dark green. I was going to say dark green. Darn it. Yeah, see, so there you go. So if I put a little dark green behind that, now what happens to the bird? Oh, neat. You remember, write this down. Wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So if you're saying there's a, there's some, you know, if we put some dark green right in here, it helps them Next stand to these, out. these, we can have them stand out, maybe right in this area of a little dark green. And then it brings it kind of brings the birds forward, doesn't it? And if we take a little dark green and we say we put a little bit down in the corner, you know, maybe down in like this, just a little bit down in there with some other greens too, and maybe a little white. Let's just blend that in a little more. This is something down here, darken that, right? 
And what if we had something very light right in here, kind of a light, right like that. What if that was light right there between these guys? So and then they stand out. No, okay, so here's a little bit of, I want a little bit of darker green in here, right next to that guy. And uh, uh, let's shade some of these. Okay. Don't forget to enter the uh, contest or the drawing, the giveaway, if you're interested in the other painting that she's doing. And we have a Salvador paint kit and also some canvas and brush to give away today. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah so we're going to do this. Okay, make those... Uh, I stand out a bit more and uh, Some of the fine I had a detail. very fine I had a very fine dark pen. Do I have how fine is that? That's pretty good, right? Just do a few a little bit of that. Not too much, but just Right, so now let's take the little, little, remember if you've had your brush in water, you really got to wring it out. So this is our little brush here. I want to make sure that I've got this going over the top of his head like that. That's important. I think I'm pretty happy with these. The brush size for the giveaway is a 3 8 inch ruby satin silver angle brush. That's what it is. The queen's choice. Second coat of orange on the beaks. I wanted to put enough of that orange by the, um, the priorly red by the um, uh, by by the turquoise, right? That you that would show up nicely. Yeah, I know why yes. you do that. So yeah, let's see what we got here. So all right, so last. Last little bit of color on these guys. Last little bit of color here. This is just wanted to disappear on us. So we'll just bring this out a little bit more. And uh, there we go. All right, there's our parakeets. I'm pretty happy with those. I think we're gonna just uh, if I can't, I think of something else I I should do. But I'm pretty happy with th those just the way they are. So let's work on our abstract a little bit. And you're going, oh my gosh, Ginger, really? How are you gonna make this into anything? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's just the way do we have a backup plan magic. in case it doesn't work. It's it's possible. Might have a backup plan. You never know. You don't need a backup plan. I don't think so, but you never know, right? So that's that's the trick. You just don't know. Let's take some of that white here. Let's use some of that white here. Oh, Andrew's in the house. Hi, Andrew. Have you been here all the whole time? I just missed you. 
people always want us to do abstracts, and we don't, you know, I, I tend to have a tendency to want to do figurative abstracts because um, um, that makes, you know, for me that makes the most sense, but, you know, somebody else might want something else. Yeah, let's just pull this. Oh, Andrew's been here the whole time, just been quiet. Oh, okay. So how is our command central over there in your... I'm being able to command things in, fine. Imperator works chair. It seems to be working primo. Andrew was here before we were here. Well, that figures. Well, we, we, um, and every time we move cables in the studio, if we have to clean up, move cables, they have to be fa refastened somehow. And sometimes, it not is. always, but there is a, sometimes, this is phthalo green, which is a very hard color to, to just mix. If you can get it, but not as great as if you just use it. You see, that's one that's easier to get out of the tube. Yeah, that's one of those ones. People always say, Dodge need purple. You can get some great purples in life, but Dodge need purple is one of those ones where... Um, um, having it is better than not having it. So if I wanted to say that this was, what I want these birds, but I want to feel the abstract of them. And I want this sort of motion going in here, some sort of energy in the painting. So now we're going to kind of just start sweeping lines around that are... Um, Uh, I'm just going to use some of this paint up here and just sweep some stuff around this way. Maybe some yellow here and this green. I knew we had a question here. I don't know who asked it, right, but the question just... was, has Ginger ever messed up a painting? Sure, all the time. But the thing is, you can dry them so you can fix anything. See what I mean? You can, you you can dry and paint over it again. You just dry it and paint over it. It just doesn't work, right? That's that's part of the fun. Sometimes you just gotta let yourself go. You just can't take yourself so seriously, right? Um, like for instance, this is if you've got some. I'd like to dry this before I keep making all kinds of muddy colors. I'd like to dry this, but I'd like to say that this is um, um, uh, this you know I. This this is the kind of picture that needs needs to be dried, you know. See what I mean? You you we get, otherwise you're just going to keep you're going to at some point you're going to just mix all the colors. Does that make sense? So you don't want to do that either. So Elizabeth had a question. I can't find it. Well, Elizabeth, ask her question again. Because we can't. You know the the thing about the. It's like Santa by. Claus lists the way the stupid stuff scrolls down, right? And so sometimes it's a little tricky for us to see your questions. Of course, I can't see any of them. Barbara's so. asking, Ginger, do you have any tips on painting loose? That seems to be a common question. Years, years of practice that just don't, you know, try not to, you know. No, don't fret over the small stuff. Yeah, do the larger areas first. You know, that's a good one, too, so just... Try to do the larger areas first, and um, Elizabeth, I'm scrolling back through, and I'm not seeing it. So, ask again. I'll try to find it. All right. So I'm going to dry that, but you can see it's starting to take shape a little bit. I can probably put some brown in there before I do. 
starting to take shape a little bit, yeah? All right, so we're going to dry that. You mean actually dry her? Yeah, I'm going to actually dry that. I'll put this one here so people don't panic. This is we're, we're doing an abstract of these birds. This is the one in the auction. I'm going to do an abstract of these and dry this right here. Okay. All right, while she's drying that, I have muted her microphone, hopefully the right one. And my mic is now being blocked by the monitor, so this might work a little better. You just have to let me know. In my command central, what are we painting? We're painting those birds that you're looking at right now. Two pair of geeks. Elizabeth, I am still looking for your question coming in again. I'm sorry, I missed it the first time. I did scroll back up and could not find it. Anything else in here? Oh, Eric's in the house. Hello, Eric. Haven't seen you in quite a while. Hope you're doing well out there in the Las Vegas area. We have Eric in the house. Hi, Eric. How is it out there in Las Vegas? I bet it's gorgeous. But Las Vegas is gorgeous this time of year. It's not, I don't think it's too cold or nothing, right? It's um, the right time to go out there. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to put this upside down for a minute because then I can concentrate on my abstract without oh, it trying now to be here's something. a good question from Lily. Yeah? And this is appropriate to what you're saying. Does Ginger see the painting in her head, or does she just let the brush take over? I see the painting in my head. I so see, then you command the brush. I see the painting in my head, absolutely. I see the painting in my head. Okay. You bet. Good question, though. Yeah, it's a good question. Um, um, you can sometimes just do some of that, but at some point you've got to... Um, if you just let the brush take over, okay, here's, the, here's the, how that can be a bit of a challenge. If you just let the brush take over, what happens is, is that um, uh, you may have something really wonderful, and it, in, often, but you won't know how you got it. It's terrific, but you know you have no idea how that even happened. So it's very hard to duplicate um, something like that if you don't know how you did it in the first place. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So um, uh, that's that's what you have to kind of be um, um, aware of is um, uh, you, you still have lights and darks and balances and all that stuff. And sometimes people have asked me this. Sometimes it, you'll see in a beginning tutorial, I'm not going to concern myself with lights or darks or any of that. I'm just showing you a technique. And as we get into more into the more advanced lessons, then we start talking about. Um, uh, then we'll start talking about, uh, for instance, uh, uh, lights and darks, color balancing, uh, that kind of thing, right? But normally we're not, okay? So. Um, Let's see, I'm just I'm having fun talking to you and thinking about this, and already I'm kind of liking it. It's just it's just different. It don't have to paint the same. Yes, you can still do this. Absolutely, you can still do that. But then, what if you didn't? There's a thought. What if you didn't? What if you want to do something a little different? What if you did something different, right? Nothing wrong with that at all. So what if you didn't? Eric's moved. Oh, where'd you move to, Eric? He's in Paris, Tennessee. Oh, nice. Sounds fun. Where did Ginger get the table that she has her paints in? 
What? The table that she has her paints in. Uh, no phone. Oh, you're talking about this drawing table? What's we got a drawing on Amazon? Table we got there, and then that's just a large tablet of paper, 12 by 16 palette paper we use. Uh, Ginger's dryer's still pretty loud. Oh well. You know, it's the way it is. We have a lot of things we can do and some things we can't because of the nature of the room we film in. Yeah. That's Elizabeth's asking, do I see the second question? Well, I'm going to have to say no. Scrolling back up, though. Has anybody seen Elizabeth's question? They can repeat it for me, because I am not seeing anything from her except when she's asking, does she have a question? Did you see my question? Maybe put your question in when you say that. Did you see my question and ask it again? <laughs> There's a thought, right? You've got to trick the system. No, I'm all the way back up. I'm not, not, no, wait, nope. Now I just saw where you said, did you see it again? The first time you said it. And then the next one I saw was, do you see it the, the second time? And nope, I don't. Um, he got his dream home, a Victorian house. That's cool, cool. Oh, wow. I, I, you know, Eric is a terrific painter, you guys. And, um, I, you know, he was an Academy member for a long time. And um, I don't know, maybe he still is, right? But, he, you know, I know it's hard to paint when you're moving, right? But um, I got to tell you, his um, a lot of his paintings that just look fabulous in a Victorian home. I bet they do. And besides that, he's a very good musician. And um, and offered to um, to play some, you know, help us with the channel. Maybe put some music. Uh, if you play the wrong music, or if they, if somebody decides it's copyrighted, even if you can prove it wasn't, um, the hassle to um, to disprove a claim is so huge. If you run music that um, for John and I, we just don't think it's worth. We don't think it's worth it. Yes. It just kills the channel. Wow. So, um, all right, should we be brave and put the eye in? It's upside down. I know. We're going to put it in right here. Oh, you are so brave. Let's take a little bit of the soap green. We'll make it soap green. And, uh, let's turn him around. Are we referring to the drawers on the side of you? Oh, that's, um, who are those people? The Elfie people or something? The drawers oh, yeah. are next to These you. are fabulous. We got those at the container store. And you can and that's build. That's what it's called. You, what's neat about these, you guys, is that you can, um, you can decide how big a drawer you want and how wide you want the thing. And if you want some, if you need some narrow drawers or if you need some big wide ones. So whatever you're trying to do it with, um, you can do that. Okay, so is, is this not cute or what? For the abstract, let's see. Let's just do a little bit more light here. Eric says he has that 30 by 40 of that uh, Venice piece yep. in his living room. Yeah, I bet that's just stunning.
Now I need to dry this and then I'm going to put a little detail in on the eyes and I think we're going to, uh, I think we'll probably, let's see, I'm not sure about that one little bark right there. Let's just break that up right there. Take this here and do this. Okay. Nope, don't like that one. Okay, so now I'm going to dry this real quick. Before I do that, let's see. I think I'm out of white paint. That would do it. So one one way to do you know to you know to get looser something like this. You can see this is a lot looser painting than the first one, right? Paint it a few times, but the fourth or fifth time you paint something, it's amazing how much how looser you can you can get because you just. Um, yeah. You know, just suggest something rather than say that's what it is. Just suggest it. Let's see. See? You can just absolutely do that, and it um, can be pretty effective. All right, so let's see. Um, what color was I missing that we thought was so marvelous? What's this one? Oh, that, that little light yellow. This one, I think. This one here, yeah, that color. That's called um, Naples Yellow Deep, but it's very light. I don't know why they get to where the deep comes from. It's one of our lighter colors. For sure. So get your entries in if you'd like a chance to win this fine painting. Right, now I'm going to dry that real quick. Now this, I'll just before I do, I just wanted to show you the difference between the abstract one and, and the more the impressionistic one. Yeah? This one almost Very has a similar. feel of, this Same almost colors. feels like stained glass, doesn't it? Yeah. Kind of the way I painted it. And uh, so um, that that's one thing is that you can kind of just let go and just not care about the outcome, right? There you go. All right, as she dries again, do get your entry in if you like an opportunity at one of the winning offers tonight. All right, James, I hope we got you, your answer. Those were drawers that we got from, it's called the Container Store by the elfy people i think it's elfy they are not inexpensive but they do hold up and that's a big difference because we bought the cheapy stuff from michael's and they're just garbage i want to just put this in a little black frame and see how i like it oh yeah a little accent there a little accent here as i put it in there i want to just see what i'm going to do with the with the eyes i just wanted to see what it looked like in a black frame because it is sort of it's so modern looking so, there, I'm sorry, I, got, I get sidetracked. Impossible. Spe speaking of sidetracked, before I go any further, you know that you're and we're running out of time, you guys. Big, big, give me big, lots of room here, baby. Lots of room? Yeah, I'm going to show the uh, angel. Oh. And this painting is um, 11 by 14, and it is part of a larger painting done by an artist who was born on my birthday 220 years ago. And this um, tutorial, three hour plus tutorial, is free in our gingercookstore.com. During the month of February. During the month of February only. So if you haven't of got 2021. this. Of 2021. Of 2021. If you haven't got the downloadable for this, you want to go to gingercookstore.com and be sure to get it. You have to put in the coupon code, which is staring you in the face on the front page. <laughs> and then also there's a little video on how to download your lessons and all that good stuff. Yes and yes. Or you can watch it online. Or you can watch it online. Yeah. So you anyway, are. that's uh, this. This I th I thought that in view of the challenge of the year that we've all had, and it looks like this year is not going to be a big enough improvement to, to ease up on it. We're gonna. <laughs> <sighs> we all need an angel, and I thought that perhaps if you want to paint yourself an angel or paint this and give it to somebody, as a, maybe you want to maybe you want to paint it and give someone else you know an angel. But um, there you go. That is our 
um, Angel in Paradise painting tutorial, gingercookstore.com. The tutorial is free. You own it forever. It's not. Someone wrote and said, well, how long do I have to pl play it? I don't know. Until you croak, I guess. So you, <laughs> you run out of internet or your computer dies. But, you know, you, once you download it, it's... Um, it's yours. It's yours. Okay. All right. So I thought I'd share that with you. Good point. It, the, with you. And then I want to share this with this week... At some point, we're going to be releasing oh, in the Academy God. this. We meant to do it last week. We just got busy. This yeah. will be an Academy, a tutorial. It's a two-cookie lesson. It is a... Um, Renoir. Renoir. Um, and we did it about six years ago. I did one on YouTube, a little tiny 6x8. This is an 8x10, larger version, more detailed. And we felt we just needed to redo it. And that's coming. Oh, boy. So much stuff, right? So much stuff to know. So let's see. All right, so we're going to take a little bit of white here. We're going to have fun with these eyes. A little bit different, right? These are really more staring eyes. Yeah, they're they're definitely <laughs> here's looking at you, babe, right? Kind yeah. of thing. Like you talking to me? Like are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? I'm gonna go ahead and be it ready to do an auction on this pretty quick, John. I uh, hope everybody has signed up for the not the auction but the giveaway if if you're watching us live. And um I'll bring up my random dot org. You know, there's our two different ways to paint these birds. Isn't it interesting? Two different ways to paint these birds. This one is very calming. This has a lot of energy, doesn't it? And why do you think it's all these swirling brush strokes, jewel tones? All right? And um, if I. Uh, yeah, just absolutely. All these swirling brush strokes. I like this. I think sometimes you just have to. People say, how do you know when to quit? When. Um, you, you know, when it kind of looks good, you just don't want to do too much more. Okay, so abstract parakeets. That is our, um, uh, we're going to be giving that away. And John's going to do a drawing for that. And I'll put it in one of the big frames so you can see it too. Something like this. Sometimes what's really impressive is when you have a wide molding, um, uh, if you have a little painting and a giant wide frame, it's impressive. Let me just show this. I think this would look very nice, doesn't it? Wait a minute. Let me back out just a little bit. Ooh, ah, yeah. Yeah? So. Yeah, look good in that. Yeah, that's just different, right? So, um, and again, so when you're sitting, you know, maybe paint it a couple times. Get a feel for what you you know you want to convey. Um, what it, what is it that you want to say? Um, while he's drawing for that, I might do a couple of things. You know, just uh, that was a too much water on there brush. It's sitting in the water, so I'm gonna do it again. There you go. Just want a little bit of light right there. Want a little bit of light up here, okay? There we go. That's it. All right, you guys, that is fun, right? It keeps painting. Well, uh, yeah, and you got to be careful because if you keep doing it, then you lose some of the abstract quality, which you do not want because you went to all the trouble to make it abstract. And if you just keep fooling with it, then it no longer is. See you know what I mean? So you gotta you gotta kind of balance that out. All right. So anyway, I think this looks pretty, and I think that that's kind of cool. So that's what we're drawing for. We'll do and the that drawing. Winner, so the winner of the abstract parakeet painting is Patricia Mack. Oh, and where does Patricia live? She hails from MD Maryland. From Maryland. I don't oh, think we've ever sent anything to Maryland. Is that still a state? Is Maryland what? Still a state? What you know? Of course it's you never still hear a state. From, like, Maryland, Rhode Island, you don't hear from those guys. They're always quiet over there. 
Yeah, okay. So, um, okay. all right, congratulations, Patricia. That's wonderful. So now the next thing we're drawing for is the uh, Salvador paint set, the new one with the 24 brushes and uh, the, the stuff, and I don't have a sample of that right quick. I thought you had one there. Well, that was the, the larger tubes. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't have the old one. The old, the, 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 the Do you want me to hop out and get you one? John's going to hop out real quick and get it one. Uh, people said, what do you mean the old or the new? Well, the, the new, newer, they've got a new set out that's coming out that's just the larger tubes. Because you figure you already got the brushes and you got all that stuff. So you, now it's a deal. You're just replacing colors. But the one that we're, that Salvador's sending out is this, um, is this new one. And, um... Uh, John's going to get it for me real quick. Yeah, yeah, real quick, boss. Here, well, it's quick. It's quick. Yeah. Is that the same one? Well, is this it? That's, That's what this is. This isn't the big tubes. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I lied. This isn't the big tubes. This is the little tubes. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Okay. You have that one. I, can I have this one. Had the right I one. guess I had the white you one. Took to high quality brushes. I'm chair? sorry, John. Oh. Okay. What does the one with the big tubes look like? Do you have that? To show, do we, should we show people that? Do you know where that is? We cleaned up, so we don't know where anything is. He doesn't know. All right. Well, we'll show you next time. All right. So next. It looks like that one's big tubes. I want you to look for an announcement in the newsletter. We're going to be doing a auction uh, on the 16th of um, uh, next week, which is the 16th on a Monday afternoon. What time we're doing it? Well, uh, what are we doing? Did you ever write that lady in San Francisco? Oh, that's, that's on the 15th, I believe. Was it the 15th? Yeah, the 15th, yeah. We're doing that on the 15th for the museum. We're doing a Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras mask on the 15th. So we don't. She, she didn't give me back any more details on that. Yeah, I sent her stuff. So I, when we have details, we'll give them to you. You go you, you sign up for our newsletter. We'll put a special newsletter out. It'll be fun. It's in addition to our Monday show, right? Right. Right? Hmm. Is it or not? Uh, it's, it's being held at th two or three our time. Two or three our time. Yeah, and I then think. we'll do the then we'll do the Monday show. So we'll see you next week. We're always interested in things you want to learn to paint. And, uh, Wait a minute, I haven't done one more drawing. I got one more drawing. Well, we got we got yeah we, we got to get the um you have them right up who, there. Who got the Salvador set? Oh I oh I, oh I picked it up. But I didn't tell anybody because you made me get up. Yeah, who got the Salvador set? And then of course we're still Kathy doing the Kathy Cap Caplington. Cap no wait a minute, Caplinger. 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 Kathy. Okay. And she hails from Illinois. Oh, congratulations, Kathy. Congratulations. There you go. I don't think so, we've ever sent anything to Illinois before. Salvador, and then, of course, the Paramount Centurion, um, the yeah. linen canvas. Here it is, the linen canvas with the with the brush, the 3 8 inch brush, courtesy. Okay. This is a gift. We're paying for the postage. Well, actually, they did, too. They covered everything, postage, everything. This is being one of our viewers bought a bunch of these to, as a giveaway for, just because they love you guys, too. And, you know, so we, we appreciate, um, we certainly appreciate that. And, uh, uh, again, the Centurion uh, canvas, the linen canvas, people ask me, well, should you paint on linen or canvas? What's the difference? Linen, you know, if you're talking about thread count, linen is a very fine, smooth canvas, and it's really good for details. Portrait artists love linen. In fact, I think Frederick's canvas even has something called portrait canvas but it's not linen, but it's very, very smooth. And it's got lots of coats of gesso that have been sanded. But oil painters would paint on linen. And, um, and it's really nice, and it's generally lots more expensive than regular canvas. So people say, when do you buy linen when it's on sale? Yeah? Hmm? Okay. Um, anything else? So we know who won that. We do. It's uh, Norma B. Norma Nor B. from Florida. From Florida, Norma B. won the We're brush. we all over the country this time. Brush and, and, and um, uh, the Centurion t uh, 10 sheets, canvas sheets, eight, 6 canvas by 8 canvas sheets. And brush. Yeah. Bur, 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 bur. Norma yeah. won that. And again, just, just quickly on this, just quickly, 
you've got so many beautiful pieces. Let me just turn this up like this. We have so many beautiful auction pieces. Look at this dog. I love the dog. This, and that, if that's you, Mozart. That, that, that's, that, he goes with the parrot, doesn't he? We just did. Doesn't, doesn't he kind of look like the... Parrot. Well, the I'm just... Right there, it's underneath. The, yeah, the abstract uh, parrot. Oh, the abstract one? Don't you think he, he kind of has that same feel to him, doesn't he? He kind of does, because of his hair. Yeah, because of his hair. Kind of very loose. This is what you call painting loose. And uh, this was one of my favorites, the clownfish. I, I love that one. That's in the auction. Um, this one of the, the, the you know, the quiet, uh, the pine tree just on the hill. Uh, so a good example of birch trees. Here's one, which is the... Um, the mountain uh, pine tr pine trees and mountain reflections in the, in the like okay and uh, we've got Van Gogh's chair we have an orchid we have some uh, peacock feathers we've got a really cool palm tree good example good example of gradation and just simple how to do a palm tree one of the ones that we did that we painted. Um, uh, Friday was this one in the barn, and that's one of my favorites too, this barn with the tulips. I think that would be stunning big. That'd look good in your Victorian house, Eric. Big one of this. And, um, and then this was one of my favorites too, which is the, um, which is the, uh, gladioli, and the gladiolas in the purple, which I think is, I really like this one. And of course, when we varnish these, the colors come out. You just can't believe how gorgeous the colors are. If I if I were to rebottle varnish and um, did I show you this one? I think I did. Yeah. If I were to rebottle varnish again, this is similar to, in style to these these parrots too, isn't it? The same idea, very loose. So uh, I would call it color popper. I wouldn't call it varnish. I'd call it color, color popper because that's what it does. Varnish pops your colors. So I'm going to move this back around again. Here is the parrots that we did that's in the auction. That's our auction parrots right there. And I hope you guys enjoyed these, these tutorials. And um, again, be curious. I don't have any clue what we're going to do next Monday, so I need some ideas, you guys. And you know. let, let us know if you enjoyed seeing John in his fancy chair. If you enjoyed our show, we'd love it. Thanks for hanging in there with us. Is the show over already? It's over. Well, thanks to our moderators crazy. for hanging in there too. You guys appreciate it we very much. We didn't thank them personally. Uh, who who was here, John? Judy, Steffi, Tonya, huh. Luann, Liz. I don't know if I saw Lynn though. Okay. Well, Lynn, if you're here. Thank you. Thank you. If you're here, Lynn, thank you. Again, I'm going to put that there. There's the abstract. If somebody wants to see the winning abstract painting, uh, there's our abstract. And of course, the reference photos for the um, uh, for the the parrots will be in the Beginner Acrylic Academy in a day or two. Give us a chance to get all these up because there's 14 total paintings that need to be in there because we did 13 Friday. Could you imagine eight hours of sitting here painting with two five minute breaks? That was fun. If you haven't watched that, really do. It's really good. Um, a couple of questions came in. Elizabeth, I got your question through email, and her question was on the giveaways. We had they got credits that you can use for downloadable lessons on the new site. Do they have to use them right away, or is there a time limit? There is no time limit. You can wait until something comes along that you like. And John, why don't you do? Yeah, there's a time limit in the sense you got to do it this year. You can't come back to us two I don't or three care years. When they do it? Well, because we, you know, those paintings may be gone or something happened. Try to do it the, in a year. I'm sorry, there's got to be a time limit on well, this. Well, the Queen said a year. You got a year, and I think that's generous. I would normally have given you a couple months, but John said, "All right, a year." <laughs> okay. John, it's, why don't you do a show of you painting? Because I just do the backgrounds, and I've done those. You've seen a couple of those. I do the underpaintings. That's all I do. I'm the official underpainter. And thank you, everybody, that participated in the drawing. And we will be back next week, according to the Queen. And don't forget to watch The Art Sherpa tomorrow. My daughter, Cinnamon, she has her regular Tuesday show. And it's a doozy. Yes, that would be good. Thanks, everyone. See you next time around. Bye. Bye.